G'day guys, welcome back to another Rosh Reviews where today we are in something that the AU fans are going to be rejoicing because this is a 2002 Series 3 XR6 with the VCT and fully optioned guys, just all original here, 57,000 Ks on the clock and I have never sat in an AU I think quite like this one and I have had some absolute gems before. So. Today, guys, we're going to be reviewing this car, showing it off, and yeah, this is really special. Now, this particular XR6, guys, it is a one-of-one -one build, and it was specced out from an ex-Ford employee. So, you know, he really knew the ins and outs of what this thing should have got, and it's fully loaded. You know, the leather seats in here, they're just so soft still. You know, it's got a sunroof in here. He's upgraded to the Series 1 Tickford wheels. It's got the Tickford brakes, uh, you know, just the factory headlight covers. You know, we've got the Momo steering wheel here, the Momo shifter. It's just immaculate. And the paint on this, I don't know if it's come through on camera. It looks like a brand new AU. And even on the interior here, it's absolutely insane. The plastics just, it looks brand new. And this thing is from 2002. So it's a 20 year old car. It's wild. Now under the bonnet guys, this XR6 gets the four liter straight six. It's still the Intec here, but this is the red top VCT. So it did get a little bit more power than the standard six cylinder you could have gotten some of the XR6s. We're talking 172 kilowatts here guys, 374 Newton meters to the rear wheels with a four speed BTR. And uh, I gotta say, you know, IRS in the rear, just on country roads out here in Victoria, this is comfortable. And again, just the AU had so much development thrown at it. Ford really spent the money on this thing. The chassis, I rate this chassis as better than, it's probably Ford's best chassis, if we're being honest here, because just for Australian roads, driving this thing as you know a, a car built for Australia, this handles the road probably unlike any other Ford. Now brand new, an AUXR6 was gonna cost you around like 36 grand, I think. With all the options that this has, I wouldn't be surprised if this was getting close to 50K brand new. And that is big money for you know early 2000s here. So it's pretty impressive to see this one. There's not gonna be many AU XR6s that have been specced to this level. I, I don't think there would be. And this is why, again, this is a one of one build. So it is impressive to see and a treat to drive and show off for you guys today. Now on the used market, if you're gonna get an XR6 AU, uh, it's gonna range depending on case and condition probably around eight to 10 grand for one with higher Ks. Uh, and it really is a challenge nowadays to even find one. So, you know, honestly, especially for one like this, the value, it's only gonna just keep climbing because people have really started to have a newfound appreciation of these AUs and they're an amazing car. And again, guys, the fact that this particular one is got 57,000 Ks, it's factory original, like everything is original. Brakes, tires, just nothing has been changed on this car. And to me, that's just so impressive. You know, even in the boot, it's got the boot liner on the bottom. It's got actually the boot like cover. So when you're putting luggage and stuff in here, you don't damage the rear bar. Like <laughs> you just don't see that stuff. And you know, just on handling, you get it around some corners. You know, the BTR, it's, it's not the quickest gearbox in the world, but this kind of a car, you know, you really get the best out of it just cruising on these windy roads. The steering, it's, it's actually quite sharp, but 
it's very soft. So, you know, you don't really have a whole lot of uh, weight behind it. But you know what the front wheels are doing. It's actually quite flat considering this is an AU. Um, you know, obviously being the XR6, would have got better suspension here. And it's got IRS in the back. Soaks up the road really well, this thing. And one thing with the BTR that I actually didn't know about was, in this model at least, it's got an intuitive like adaptive shift mode. So the BTR kind of just trains itself to how you drive, but you can also manually put it into like an economy mode or a performance mode. So I always thought, yeah, just the BTRs were how they were, but there actually is a, se a sequence that you just run to get them into a different mode. So yeah, again, guys, I had no idea. So to put it into performance mode, you want to turn it off. Okay, yep. Yeah. Put your foot on the brake and move the shifter to one. Foot on the brake. Shifter to one. Turn the ignition to reds. First click. And click one more click. Yep. Move the selector to reverse. Yep. Yeah, there should be a light flash three times on the dash. Econ. econ. Yeah, that's econ. 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 Now move the shifter to park and start. Now you can start the car. Now it should be in performance mode. So Econ is, per oh, cause so it, just because it says Econ. Doesn't mean it's in Yeah, it's, it's, it's in performance if, mode. If now. you put it into economy mode, you go to, you put the shifter in two rather than one. Ah, like we did, yep. And then it will put, leave the Econ light on the dash. So that it lowers see, your point. See guys, even all the AUs I've been in, you learn something new. Apparently it is only for XR6 or XR8, but yeah, if you got a BTR in the XR6 or XR8, try that. Uh, we're gonna do the zero to 100 in a second here, but we got to put it in performance mode and yeah, you learn something new every day. Go, 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 go. Yep, 80 just changes in a second and 100. Yeah, buddy, here we go. <laughs> they go well, you know, I love that five liter XR8 sound. You know, the Windsor is, the sound is unbeatable, but man, they're really comparable. Like the six VCT actually, potentially even quicker. Now zero to hundred guys, look again, we are just out here on a back road in Melbourne. Uh, you know, the roads are pretty average at best here. We got the owner in the back, I'm in here. 9.3 seconds, look, I believe the last time I did one of these cars, it got nine seconds as well. Even the XR8 got about nine seconds. Uh, the BTR, it struggles in first to really get going off the line. Uh, you know, it's doing 80 Ks an hour before it goes into second. And uh, quoted from Ford, I did just look it up. I believe they quoted it about seven and a half seconds. I think you'd be doing well to get into the eight seconds. But if you did have a manual, you know, I think seven, a sec seven seconds would be achievable on a really good day. Now this was cool guys, because the owners got the brochures originally that, you know, you would have been looking through and specking your AU with back in 2002 here. And you could have got some crazy features that even I didn't know about. So you could have got satellite navigation, which I have actually previously seen on the LTD that I reviewed, but I didn't know you could get it in the XR6. So if you want to see that LTD review, you can click the pop-up banner right here. That was a beautiful car. But also in the back, you could have got this Rex rear infotainment system. It was basically a screen that would kind of sit in the middle between the two seats here and you could play video games on it. I think it was a Nintendo 64 you put in the boot and there's even a little picture of it in the brochure and that just blows my mind. I'd absolutely love to see that. I do know when I did do a review of the AU XR8 Rebel Edition, you actually got from factory a PlayStation 2 with the Gran Turismo game. So that was a cool fact. But again, to see it in this AU, I had no idea. Uh, that's, that's wild. If you guys want to see that Rebel video, I'll leave a link for it right here. We can click the pop-up banner. That was a really nice car too.
Now, I'm going to finish the video off here today, guys. So, look, again, a huge thanks to the owner for bringing down his 2002 Series 3 AUXR6 with the VCT. And, again, you know, 101 build here, 57,000 Ks. It's absolutely unheard of. What a vehicle. What an AU. And I was so happy to see this thing today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. And we will see you on that next video.